Yeah, uh, good day guys. Hope you guys are fine. Today we'll be talking about action potential. Um, action potential in the resting monate man, rest restroom membrane potential. That's like yeah, action potential. Um that's um in the excitable tissues, okay? So um basically uh, this is a diagram showing an action potential where you see uh, where you could see the resting membrane potential. Uh, you can see the firing stage, you can see the threshold, and see it goes boom before it goes down again, right? So, um, action potential is a um, characteristic series of changes in potential observed when an axon is stimulated with a threshold stimulus, okay? So, um, this potential change only spread rapidly along the nerve muscle, okay? That's a brief depolarization and repolarization, okay? So when the stimulus is applied to a nerve, um, a brief irregular deflection of the baseline is seen. This is called a stimulus artifact. So um, stimulus artifact should be here, All right? That's a brief deflection. Okay. So um, this is due to the leakage of current from the stimulating to the recording um, electrode. Okay. So this stimulus artifact is um, followed by an isopotential interval called what the latent period so if uh, the stimulus is a threshold after about um initial 50 millivolts of depolarization the rate of depolarization increases this point is called what firing level okay so this is the action potential and, and everything so now um there's a rapid depolarization reaching about um um there's a rapid depolarization reaching about what plus 35 millivolts. This is a plus 35 millivolts, and this is what the depolarization. Okay, so then it's a rapid repolarization, which is return of potential back to the resting level. So when the repolarization is about 70% complete, that the slower fall at the end of the process is called what after depolarization. Okay. Um, after depolarization should be here, right? When it is 70% done, the slower fall is the after depolarization. Uh, slower fall is the after depolarization, okay? Which is followed by the after hyperpolarization, okay? That is a tracing overshoot of falls below the resting level, okay? Tracing um, overshoot of falls below the resting level, that is the resting membrane potential, okay? So, um, what are the ionic bases for action potential? Uh, the action potential is generated by what? Sequential changes in the permeability to ion, primarily what? Sodium and potassium. Okay? The depolarization is due to an increase in permeability to what? Sodium. Okay? Uh, the concentration gradient as well as electrical gradients favors the influx of what? Sodium into the cell right to cause um, depolarization hence the increase in permeability leads to a rapid entry of sodium since the inside of the resting cell is negative as compared to the outside so entry of the positively charged sodium leads to what depolarization so increase in permeability to sodium lasts only a short while right before it starts depolarization um, it starts and um, repolarizing, okay. All right, so um, when the sodium permeability starts to decline, the membrane, the membrane and permeability of potassium starts to increase. So, outward diffusion of um, um, potassium coupled with decline in sodium uh, permeability brings about what repolarization. So, at the end of an action potential, the excitable cells has more sodium ion than and less potassium ion than at the beginning. So bringing the ionic concentration back to the original state is a job of what the sodium sodium potassium pump, which does it slowly. So however, the amount of imbalance created by one action potential is so little as compared to the total number of ions in the cell such that a nerve or muscle cell can fire thousands of action potential in quick succession 
without suffering, suffering an appreciable change in ionic water concentration. Okay. The activities of the voltage gated channels, the voltage uh, 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 voltage gated potassium channels in the cell membrane are responsible for the movement of ions during action potential. So the voltage gated means that whether the channel is, or uh, the, the voltage gated means that whether the channel is open or closed depends on the voltage that is applied. Okay. So guys, this is an overview of the action potential. I'll, I'll make a video on the voltage gated um, potassium channel and um, the voltage gated um, sodium channel. Okay. So um, these are brief overview of the action potential. We have the stimulus actifier, we have the firing stage, we have the depolarization, we have the repolarization, um, and hyper de after depolarization, and um, hyper, uh, hyper polarization, and so on and so forth. Okay? So I'll see you guys in the next tutorial, and bye for now.